Hello, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi. Um, welcome to this video. This is the card I'm making today. Isn't it cute? Now, I started to film this video already and then realised actually I wasn't filming it because I hadn't switched the record button on. So, yeah, enough said about that. <laughs> so, I'm just going to show you very quickly what I should have shown you before. The stamp set. We did do the stamping already, or I did anyway. And the stamp set I used was this one called Snailed It. And it's gorgeous as you can see. We used the speech bubble and the little hello, but you can equally, you know, stamp out these snails. These snails are also sh on the designer series paper, and the dies will cut them on the paper and here on the stamp set. So, really cool. So, as I said, I stamped, as you can see here, speech bubble with a little hello. And then I was going to start to die cut when I realised I hadn't switched the camera on. So, that die goes with that. Then we have this lovely little envelope die with a piece of Bermuda Bay. We have a piece of real red to cut out that little heart. And then we have a snail, which is in the designer series paper. And this little girl's going to get cut out with that die there. And then I have a piece of basic white. And we're going to cut it out with this frame here from the Stitch So Sweetly. And this is the second largest frame. So. I am going to put those all through the big shot, or my die cutting machine rather, and I'll come back to you. Okay, so we've cut all our pieces out, so now we can start to assemble. So I've got a card base here that's thick, basic white, and it's a standard A6 card base. That's an A4 sheet cut in half, and then fold in half. And then I've got a piece here of the real red designer series paper from the 6x6 family stacks. And we're just going to put this down like this and all the measurements will be on my blog post and the links to that are in the description box below so now we're going to stick our little frame down just with some snail as well and the lines actually help you to get this straight which is really quite useful okay and now we're going to start with our little bits here we're going to first make up a little envelope so I'm going to get my bone folder out so we can give everything a little burnish and this is just going to help everything come together and I think this envelope is just so dinky I love it okay and right, now the first time I used a little bit of Tombow but this time I think I'm going to see whether it'll work just with a glue dot so, I'm just going to put a glue dot here and close that up. Yeah, perfecto. Lovely. So now we can start to get our placement. We're going to have a hello here, a little heart here, and then a snail like that. So that seems fine. So let's stick down our envelope, and I'm going to use just some Tombow for this and I'm just going to put that down something like that and then I'm going to put a bit of Tombow there and I'm just going to place Just seeing which side of the heart I want because the heart has a little embossing to it which makes it really super cute like that now these two we're going to pop up on dimensionals so let's do that and I actually love the other side of this paper as well this Bermuda Bay this Bermuda Bay is one of my favourite favourite colours if I had to choose in the catalogue which colours I wanted to remain Ever our men, it will be Bermuda Bay, Real Red, and Melon Mamba. There's others I like too, don't make no mistake, you know. Like I like Coastal Cabana a lot as well. Um, but if I had to absolutely just choose three, it would be those three nice, bright colours. Much, very much the kind of thing I had to I like. And then if I had to choose neutrals, that would be mostly basic black 
um, Early Espresso and Knight of Navy. Those are my go-to neutrals that I really love. So there we have that down and let's put down our hello. Um, Oh, let's have this sort of coming out here like that. Get rid of these backings because otherwise they just get on everything. I don't really want them flying all around the room. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. Now I'm going to bring in these. These are the resin heart embellishments. And we're going to use just some of these here at the bottom. Just a little row of three. Um, these are absolutely titchy, but they're so dinky cute. We used this actually in car club, these hearts, recently. I host an online car club in my Facebook group. You can come and check us out. We do a Facebook Live once a month where we do some crafting together. And I, I send you the kits to make all these, to make some cards. We make about three or four cards or three cards and a 3D project every month and we use these little hearts on the last one they're just so darling anyway there you go there's one snaily card and there's two snaily cards so what do you think I hope you liked them if you did I'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to future videos if you want any more information about this project supply list links to my online shop um, it'll all be in the description box below so thank you again and until next time enjoy being creative Bye.